Uh, this one's in JavaScript. It's a level eight, and uh, it's called Find Numbers Which Are Divisible by a Given Number. Um, so as always, try the challenge out before watching the video. Um, there's a link to it in the show notes. Um, that's the best way to learn. Um, and if you're not subscribed, please do so. That keeps you up to date every time I post a new video. Uh, so with that, let's check this out. Uh, so we're going to have a function that takes, uh, we have an array of numbers, and we're going to have some divisor. And so here's the array of numbers, and we're trying to divide them, see which ones are divisible by two. And so we only get back basically the even numbers here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, return the array, okay? Uh, we're going to do a filter method on here, okay? So the filter method takes a function. So I'll just, uh, let's, let's scaffold out the function. And this function needs to return either true or false, okay? Now, when you're doing a filter method on an array, Inside of the function here, you can create a parameter for each individual number. So I'm going to do number singular here, okay? And so what we want to do is ask, is the number uh, divisible by the divisor perfectly? And so what we're going to do here is we're going to return uh, number mod divisor triple equals zero. And so everything that is divisible by uh, the divisor, anything that does return true here will be uh, returned in the result in array. So when we do a test here, let's, let's kind of show you here, uh, just to give an example, it's always better to visualize this stuff. You can always pull up a JavaScript console. Uh, so we'll let numbers equal that, uh, and we'll let the divisor equal two. And so I'm gonna do numbers.map, or actually filter here, sorry, filter. Uh, and we'll take a, our function, and so we're saying, is the number uh, divisible by uh, divisor? Does that triple equal zero? And if it does, there's your uh, resultant number. So it returns everything that uh, where this is true. So again, with filters, uh, function, function's got to return true or false in some way. So you've got to have, at some point, you need uh, some sort of ex uh, Boolean expression here. So let's test this out. And it looks like they're passing. Great job.